Hey everyone, I haven't uploaded to this YouTube channel in a while, and that's for a number of reasons. A lot of it is me being in other online communities than just Doom, and I have other places that I upload my videos for those. But it's mostly because I've had severe writer's block, and I haven't been able to come up with good ideas for midis um, probably since the end of 2021. But I thought I'd remedy that now that I'm back in the Doom community by recording myself playing some Doom wads. And I figured I would start with um, something new, which is Tetanus. Uh, the latest creation of the Squonker team. And if you don't know who the Squonker team are, uh, they made uh, a lot of wads in 2022, most notably uh, Squonker 3, with their namesake, um, Vigor, which was a Scythe-inspired megawad, Pagodia was a CAC Award runner-up, and what introduced me to them. Uh, someone on Doom World saw a review I posted in the WAD Reviews thread and DM'd me this. So I'm going to livestream my first attempt, and I am also going to try recording a demo for it, but we'll see. Um, well, this isn't actually my first attempt, but, you know... Yeah. Let's just jump into it. I need to give OBS permission to see my screen. So, yeah. There we go. Crispy Doom in all its crispy glory. Yeah, so this isn't actually my first attempt, but I've died a lot of times, and after a certain point, it's gonna end up being a blind run. So, what's nice about the Squonker team mods is that most of them have a very well-defined visual style, and that's kind of one of the first things I look for in a mod. I mean, in theory, aesthetics should play second fiddle to substance, but um, most of my favorite wads have a unique aesthetic of some sort, uh, or at least put a lot of work into their aesthetics. And I think that's because one of my favorite things about Doom, what makes this game so unique, is partly how it looks. It's all the pixel textures and all the blockiness that um, differentiates it. There's a Berserk back here which I'm absolutely going to need. I don't know why it gives me these health bonuses because they're just gonna be overwritten by the Berserk. And I I'm not going to use that Berserk very much unless I have the bravery to do definite punch out. Because this is not an easy wad. Um, yeah, I've had a bit of practice on these first few fights. Beyond that, this is going to be a blind run. But I want to start recording Doom playthroughs because, I don't know, I'm playing a lot of Doom. Might as well share that, you know. And if it gets to be too stressful for me, then I'm probably going to stop. But for now, I like playing Doom. 
So, if I step on this ledge, it falls. As you can see there. Um, I don't know why that is, but it does fall. These arrows, I think, indicate things that will lower at some point in the map, but that's just a hunch. This is gonna release some revenants. And I do not have the tools to deal with revenants right now, so let's jump down. Oh look, a chain gunner. Um, but what I want is these rockets. Also, that's health, because I'm not doing great. Um, I'm gonna try and ignore the monsters that aren't revenants, because they're not the threat right now. Although, Hacko might force me to kill it. So, oftentimes, if this becomes a series, I'm going to be playing on Freedom. This one I'm not, because for some reason this wad contains all of the Doom 2 sprites. Like most wads, that makes it better for Freedom than most wads that include like minor sprite fixes, but it still makes it really weird to hear Revenants make the Octaminator sound. <laughs> um, they they like they don't flash between sprites, but they make the wrong sounds. And oh shit, an archvile! I remember the sound. This is about as far as I got last time. But archvile said, so I can just take out. This Revenant with the last ounce of my ammo. Get more rockets. This is as far as I got before. What happens if I save? In the middle of the demo, I wonder. Yeah. Hopefully that doesn't break the recording. I know it will stop the recording if I load the game. But... We'll see when I play back this demo. So I suspect there will be some major hazards if I pick up that blue key. For now, I'm just gonna do some cleanup here. Isn't he dying? Okay. Compared to Pagodia, there's less ammo here. Like. I'm pretty sure that all of my shotgun shells are from dead shotgunners. This is supposed to be a rocket map, but... I'm not really used to playing rocket only, especially with so many fodder enemies that just come in small groups. Like that, why would I waste a rocket on that? Yeah, that, that's just... This map forced me to waste a rocket. Okay, box of shells. Thankfully, it's not gonna go completely rocket only. <laughs> and then I get up here, there's another switch. Which I presume is going to lower that red key. Hey, Plasma! Plasma on map 1! And a second arch file. Don't appreciate that as much.
We gotta beat this single segment the moment I decide to record it. I guess I'm playing safer so that I don't embarrass myself. Yeah, that's a problem with recording, is that it kinda gets to stage fright. Those exclamation marks make me think there's another uh, lowering platform. Apparently this is based on, or that, like, this visual style is supposed to be similar to Source Engine games? I'm not sure I really see it, but I haven't played Half-Life, so... Q, Q comments from, like, my five viewers, all of them saying, You need to play Half-Life right now, I'll get to it. <laughs> I actually did play, um, for some reason, um, a game console I used to own. The Open Pandora came with like a either a pirated or a demo version of Half-Life that I played like the first level of. <laughs> but I haven't gone beyond that. Alright, before we pick up the blue key, save and look at that. Very rocket worthy chain gunner ambush. Ambush. But, we have the blue key now. And there's... Doors right there. That's, uh... For some reason, I didn't realize I could do this until I watched, um, some dwarves videos. But yeah, turns out their chain gun is pretty good against Revenants. Uh, then again, I still really like rocketing them. It's, it's very satisfying, but sometimes it's not accurate. And I run out of rockets like I just did there. Oh, damn it. I fell. Okay. I should just be able to take this walkway back up. Yep. There you go. Good riddance. Now I've got two tracers on my ass. That was a good emptying of cells. <laughs> kind of in a panic there. And I'm low on health now. Okay. That probably is gonna be a shortcut later. But for now... Oh look, more evidence. I'm not amused. Just die. Okay, good, that tra that wasn't a homing tracer. Um, hmm. For a while, <laughs> I had a sort of idea that I should try to beat the first map of each rod I play safeless, because that's not really... Um, because the first map is always, like, the easiest one, and if I can beat it safeless, then I can take on the rest of the map. That's turned out mm, to not work so well, because there's so many maps I really want to play. Where the first map's actually kind of hard. Oh, uh, look. Entering Petinus. I sure love entering tech bases named after rare diseases. Actually, I don't know how rare tetanus is. Probably not that rare, considering that there's a vaccine for it. And that, that vaccine is mandatory, because, like, otherwise... The immunocompromised would get it. Yeah. 
or maybe not legally mandatory, but like strongly recommended. And if you don't, then fuck you. Um, unless you're, um, unless you're in a position where you can't get the vaccine, in which case, perfectly fine. Anyway, I did it without loading a save. That is great. That was Infiltrate by Egg Boy. Um, took me 13 minutes, and I got one of the secrets, but not both. And I got over 100% kills because our files. I don't use, I'm not gonna use menu stats, because, like, at this point, even Decino agrees that you shouldn't use menu stats on a blind playthrough, and I never got the appeal of. 100% kills as a goal, or even 100% secrets. Like, you're supposed to, like, run into them and just have fun. Anyway, let's see how far I can get into Rush by the Mystic before dying. I might be able to beat it if I'm careful, because I've got good continuous weapons. So yeah, that is something I'm gonna do. I do play continuous, don't care if you consider it a heresy. The only time I play from pistol start is if I'm playing like a community project that very clearly was not supposed to be a story arc, but I get the sense that the squonker team wads uh, are gonna play just as well continuous as pistol start. It's just that continuous gives you a little advantage for like the first half of the map. Map. Um. There is virtue, I guess, in pistol starting to like get more of the intentional design decisions of not including an a ammo or a weapon until a certain point. Um, like, there's probably a very good reason why that shotgun was reserved, but in my experience, I still have a lot of fun playing continuous, and that's what Doom should be about. It's it's not... It's just for fun. <laughs> and... If you're having stress playing Doom, then, like, step down in skill, play a different wad, or just change what your standards are, because there, there aren't rules to this game. I've recently discovered, though, that um, th there is fun in, like, limiting yourself to play, like, the official competitive way, because that makes victory a bit more satisfying. It doesn't feel like you cheated with saves. Um... It, if you play without saves, like, it feels a lot less, it feels a lot more earned, and you feel a lot better of a player when you beat the map, even if it doesn't really make you a better player. These tech-based graphics are pretty cool. Usually, lobbies are three kill of Akintrons, but I think I missed one of those. Yellow key already. Alright. Well, might as well grab it. And of course there's Kakos. I still don't have the super shotgun. So I'm just gonna rocket them. Because I have plenty of rockets. Well, relative to where I am in the game anyway. Let's see, where was... Was there a yellow key door around anywhere? Maybe on the ground? I think that's a Perdition's Gate switch, by the way. Um, there's another Squonker Team mod that I want to play that uses Perd Gate textures in ways that I don't think Perd Gate ever did. Because um, it's more... It's not the same, like, ironclad tech bases that the textures were actually meant for, but it's like cities. 
and looks very cool. This looks threatening. Uh, oh yeah. So like I was saying about blind playthroughs, basically what I'm doing is I'm gonna play each map blind without saves. And then afterwards I'm gonna allow myself a limited number of saves like between fights and I'm only gonna use mid battle saves for those long annoying fights which every WOD has. Uh, I definitely do not need any of those health bonuses with the supercharge. I'm gonna just end up wasting them, but... Eh. Maybe I could save the supercharge for later, just so I could get the most of it. Anyway... Let's see what this is all about. Um... Little Hell Knight Rush. Um, just, doesn't, not too bad, because they're all, uh, projectile enemies, but, just, rocket through them. Now I'm gonna grab the supercharge. Or the soul sphere, Dwarves always makes a big deal out of <laughs> the difference. You know what, I'm actually gonna... I don't know if I can keep this up, but I'm just gonna call it the Overdrive Sphere to annoy literally anyone who hasn't played Freedom. Um, and even some people who haven't played Freedom, because like, I'm playing Doom, why am I calling it the Overdrive Sphere? Oh, that's a nice effect. But, uh... Oh! I see what I'm supposed to do now. Wasted another health bonus, whatever. Ah, leads me straight to the red key. No teleport ambush, I just go straight into here. That's very nice. Oh, I'm at the exit already? That was short. Yeah, only six minutes. Well, that was a nice quickie for what it was. I guess since I got through that first try, might as well move on to... Wait, this one's also called Rust? Oh, it's Rush, then Rust. Damn it, my olden. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this map because <laughs> it's from my olden. The guy who made Nostalgia, and some of the most fun maps in the current DW Megawatt Club release, which is plus nine. <laughs> so, I didn't know he was even part of Squonker Team. That seems like a very different corner of the Doom community than um, Puss, but yeah. Nice to see the penguin guy here. I'm also a penguin guy, but like, different kind of penguin. Um, that is, my avatar on Doom World is Super Tux with the Free Doom Rocket Launcher. And people don't refer to me as a penguin guy quite as much. They, they just refer to me as like, threatening you into GPLing your project. Uh. Nicely placed stim pack, although it kind of went to waste. Thankfully, there are more. Let's see. Alright, another Hell Knight. We know how to deal with Hell Knights. Oh! You get, you get the plasma back. Let's chain gun these revenants again. Okay, that failed to really stun lock them. But, that's fine. I have... Okay, that that was not a good mistake to make. The end of the video might be coming up. I do have all of these stim packs, so maybe I could hang on. Just gotta be careful. 
Uh, maybe with the dodge file. That's gonna make things tough. Yep, I'm dead. I wonder how. I wonder how this is gonna sound, cause I don't really have any way of knowing um, how the audio balances before I stop recording. But anyway, that all was fun. Oh yeah, and fluid sense is broken. Um, I better get that fixed. Um, alright, let's end the Tim Hecker music there. Tim TNT Math 28er. And yeah, see you next time. Um, playing more bods probably pretty soon but i wanted to do a test doom playthrough video just off the cuff to keep my channel alive um for those of you who are looking more for midis you can look forward to the double impact midi pack coming out pretty soon i want to dump all of that on youtube and open game art at once which is why you haven't seen the two tracks I've made for that so far. But yeah. Till next time.